hello so in the holy world of uh, running shoes and just basically sports apparel and all that you know nike is like the holy grail they are at the top and they have been there for a long time and they built their name and reputation uh, on running shoes uh, which finally i was watching the uh, movie ben affleck movie here the other day and yes although pop culture and basketball and baseball might have cemented nike's name as one of the great uh, it is a shoe which is very fondly entrenched in running culture this is where they build their reputation and sure there are other uh, upstarts right now like saucony and hoka and all which are specialized running brands even sx for the matter and adidas is if adidas keeps on going this way with their running shoes especially with the adios pro evo one that they recently won set a record in the women's berlin marathon uh, if adidas keeps going that way i think they are pretty soon going to be the top dog when it comes to running but anyway for now nike is where it is at and in nike's lineup they have three of the top of the line products uh, top of the line running shoes and this is one of them the other two i also have them is the street fly which is meant to be a 5k daily trainer tempo type shoe uh the equivalent of the takumi san in adidas lineup strict fly i had it earlier i really love it this is one of my favorite daily trainers and then for the uh, marathon level runners and for the elite runners and for the elite kipchoges they have this probably the world's most advanced running shoe well until the adios pro evo this is the alpha fly the top dog one of the most expensive and most complex running shoes ever created i sometimes feel a bit conscious running this because even <laughs> other than the design itself uh, which is extremely loud other than the design itself or the technology itself it is as a bit too much i feel like i have to be running at a marathon pace to actually justify wearing one of these or even owning one of these so i hope to live up to this shoe one day but for now between those two shoes lies this which is in no less way a marvel of engineering than the uh, alpha fly this is the vapor fly the slightly younger brother but no way less ambitious running shoe from nike so the, uh, nike has got a lot of vibrant colors for this shoe and this is the one i went with because uh, this is the one color that was missing from my collection have a look at it asymmetric design same with that all three of them have got this asymmetric glaze design and uh, the fabric is interesting the upper is interesting because it is not alpha knit or fly knit like the other shoes it is an all new um, it is like strings they are just like strands going horizontally all the way around slide logo marketing fluff here zoomex form uh, uh running wraps and all they do this for all their running shoes yeah and just like the strict fly you can put this down here you have the uh, a running counter the laces are ribbed just like the alpha flies yes i just checked and there is just the bare minimum to sun here for your heel counter now my first impression when i bought this shoe was it is no less loud than the alpha flies this is also an extremely aggressive shoe and uh, 
Yeah, to be frank, I feel a bit conscious wearing it for any other occasion than running. May even to the gym, I feel a bit conscious of wearing a shoe as focused as this. I feel like I have to have a, uh, have a body that looks like Cristiano Ronaldo in his prime uh, to even justify wearing this shoe. But that doesn't stop uh, anyone, right? So yeah, uh, this is the Nike Butterfly. An extremely top of the line technical. Oh yeah, um, what makes it technical? The carbon fiber. There is a full length carbon fiber plate uh, running through the midsole. And that is what gives this the cassette of a super shoe. Yes, just like super cars, this kind of shoes with carbon fiber plates and all that are known as super shoes. And this is the middle child in Nike's super shoe lineup in the life. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you again. Take care.